Hey friends, Karen Basket DIYer here. You guys, I recently shared a video with you, an unboxing and review tutorial kind of thing from GoTo Crafts. They had sent me their DTF transfer starter kit and I absolutely loved it. I highly recommend it. I, in fact, I believe several of you purchased it, which um, there was a discount code, so hopefully you gained from that. Anyways, um, they have sent me another product. This is their heat transfer vinyl kit. And this sucker is heavy and I've already taken a peek inside and I cannot wait to show you what's in there. It is jam packed with lots of fun items. Um, I would say this is so perfect for a beginner just looking at it at a quick glimpse. Um, it, like I said, it's got a lot of great things in there. Um, if you're a seasoned crafter, then I mean, you'd probably like this too, just to try out something new and different. Um, so anyways, just hang tight and we will unbox it and see what's inside. All right, let's just start with the box, you guys. This is a really nice, durable box that may or may not matter to you. I happen to like it because I like boxes for organization and they really knocked it out of the park with this one. Okay, at first sight, look at these beautiful colors. I mean, these are some of the most popular colors used with HTV or with my HTV experience anyways. We've got silver, gold, black, and white. And those are some pretty hefty rolls, if you ask me. Um, I don't know exactly how many feet are on there or yards or whatnot, but quite a bit. Um, we've got the instructions here, the user's manual. Looks like it's got some pretty good instructions on how to use their product. Love, love, love. We've got a weeding tool that is very similar to the Cricut weeding tool and a scraper. Love that. It's also got some t-shirt guides, which I absolutely love the t-shirt guides that I have. These look very similar, so I think I'll probably be using these a lot. Um, it also comes with a pad, a Teflon pad to be exact. So if you've got a mini press or a portable press or anything like that, this will be perfect. Or if you just need to add extra padding to your current press, that'll be great as well. All right, here we've got a pack of HTV and instructions for it as well. Look at that variety. I will pull those out and go through them in just a little bit for you. Oh my wow, and there's even more. I believe this is all patterned HTV from the looks of it. But like I said, I'll take these. Oh, there's glitter in there too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open these up. I'm gonna pull this one out right now because I already know this is what I'm using for my project. And just because it says HTV doesn't mean you have to feel limited to garments or fabric type things only. You can use HTV on tumblers as well. Okay, so patterned, um, holographic, glitter, some glow in the dark or fluorescent, um, just a great variety. And then let's move back over to this big pack. Tons and tons of color variety. Various shades of each color. So it looks like it's just a really, really great pack that contains a little bit of everything. 
Okay, so for my project, I'm gonna be using the red HTV, the black and white checkerboard HTV, and the solid black HTV. So you'll see that up on the screen here in a second. And I am a sucker for a good sweatshirt, and if it's showing my grandbabies off, I'm on it. So that's what I'm gonna be making today. So just stick with me and let's see how this goes. This is just a design I came up with here in Cricut Design Space. I used Yearbook Solid for the large letters DID, and then I did an offset on them, sliced it, and then did another offset. I'm trying to show you that where it's gray, that is gonna be my black and white checkerboard, and then I'll have the black outline, and then the black names, those are made with the font I Love Glitter, and then I just added some little hearts Okay, and now then I've got it on my cutting mats here, and I like to cut everything all at once, so I'm just moving each item to one mat. I will increase the size here in just a second to 12 by 24 and get it all lined up, and then you'll see me lay out my actual HTV on the mats here in just a little bit. All right, and as you can see, I'm just unwrapping the HTV for the first time and getting it laid out here on the mat. Remember with HTV, you always want your shiny side facing down. Here, I'm having to be super accurate with the placement of this checkerboard HTV. Otherwise, it will turn out crooked and I don't want that. It would be very obvious if it came out crooked. Obviously that sheet was way too big, so I'm gonna be trimming it down and sparing as much as possible because the checkerboard HTV is really, really cute. Now then I'm just gonna grab my red for the hearts and get it placed on there. All right, and now it's time to cut it. I am putting it on the setting right between iron-on and light cardstock. All right, I just finished cutting it, and so now it is time to weed it. So I'm really curious to see how well this weeds. I'm using the tool that they provided that comes in the kit. It is very similar to the Cricut tool. I mentioned that earlier. And this weeds very easily, I might add. Now, my names on here are fairly small, so as always, I'm just gonna be extra careful. Um, I do always tend to lose a letter or two along the way. Hopefully that's not gonna happen here. Okay, so it looks like this vinyl might be a little thicker than what I'm used to. So if I lose the names, I will just recut those and use a bit more pressure whenever I do cut them. Ah, I think I got it. Sometimes it just takes a little extra patience and guidance with the vinyl. Okay, so all in all that weeded really easily. I just had one issue right here and it's just gonna stick back together and not be a problem. All right, so you saw me struggle just a little bit right here um, with that first letter that's connected. Um, I guess my machine didn't cut quite through it all the way. Um, this is, like I mentioned, a thicker vinyl than what I'm used to, but you know, I don't think that's any reason to give it a bad wrap. Um, you just have to adjust your settings a little bit. I mean, it did fine everywhere else. So um, I probably wasted a little bit of the red. I trimmed off excess black and white checkerboard because I didn't want to waste that. So now then I'm ready to layer this up and get it pressed on my shirt. Okay, you guys, the instructions said, degrees for 20 seconds and then once you peel it um, 
go back over it and you might have to go for another 30 seconds. My heat press does not go down that low, so I'm doing 210 for 20 seconds. I mean, I can stop it in the middle. I probably will since I'm doing layers and see how it goes. All right, so I don't know about you guys, but I really do love t-shirt guides. They just make lining things up so much easier. The ones that I have and use all the time are clear and they're kind of hard to see. So I'm really loving the fact that these are white and allowing me to see the numbers better. Okay, and as I'm laying the vinyl down here on the fabric, I realize it is not sticking very well at all. The transfer sheet is not sticky. So I'm using heat resistant tape to hold that down. Um, you know, this could be a real problem if you had a ways to go across your craft room to get your item to your heat press. I literally just turn around and my heat press is right behind me, but it probably would fall off between where I'm at and turning around if I didn't tape it down. And that is the black HTV that was in the big roll. All right, so here I go, 210 for 20 seconds. Okay, so here's where I'm at. I'm struggling here with that time and temp. 305 for 10 to 15 seconds is what I do on other brands. I've pressed this twice for 20 seconds. Okay, now it's finally releasing a little bit. It's a cold peel, so that's good. Um, I've let it cool off really well, but as you can see, it's still struggling, and I don't want to ruin this because it's already turning out so cute. I'm gonna press it again for another 20 seconds and see what happens. All right, so I just did another 210 for 20 seconds. That's my third press on the black. Gonna let it fully cool off like instructions say and then give it another shot. I do think I might amp up the heat a little bit whenever I apply the other layers or other colors. Which right here just does not want to peel. Okay, definitely gonna increase my heat. So as you can see, I'm going for 305 for 15 seconds and this will be my fourth press. Okay, here we go. Seems to be peeling with ease now. All right, this is super cute. And you guys, I am a very plain Jane kind of person, as you can see, black and white, gray, just is simple, simple, simple. So I could very easily just leave it like this and be totally happy with it. If you're wondering about the word did, that is my grandma name. So um, long story short, childhood nickname carried through to as an adult and I loved it now that my grandbabies are here, that's what they call me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line this checkerboard pattern up and hope that I get it all nice and straight. Okay, here's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut each letter out individually. And place it. I want you to notice here that the checkerboard HTV 
transfer sheet is sticking just fine. I don't know if it's because it's actually sticking to the vinyl that's already there or what, but it did stick much better. And same for the red vinyl. The transfer sheet was really sticky and it gave me no issues whatsoever. And that was a sheet of vinyl, not a roll. So cute, you guys. Okay, so I'm going with my 305 uh, for 15 seconds. So let's go press it. Now remember, this said that it was a cold peel, but it is doing way better now that I've increased the time and temp. It's coming off perfectly well. Now then I'm just gonna put my Teflon sheet back on there and press it for another couple of seconds. I did 305 for 15 more seconds. And basically I like to see my fabric through my vinyl or the texture of it anyways. Y'all, I am about to try this on. It is so stinking cute. All right, are you ready to see it on? This is so stinking cute. Um, other than the fact that I did struggle with the time and temp of the vinyl, I am overall pretty impressed. Um, you know, I ended up doing 305 for 20 seconds and that seemed to do the trick. So a little bit of an adjustment, not a big deal. Um, I feel like I've had to do that with other vinyls before HTVs, but I love this so much. I'm gonna be sporting this baby a lot. So anyways, guys, the kit is really amazing. Like I told you, it's got so many great vinyls in it, HTVs. Um, it's got the weeding tool, the scraper, and the t-shirt guides, which you saw me use all of those things. So all in all, I give this kit a thumbs up. Just tweak the time and temps a little bit and you should be good. So thanks so much to GoToCraft for sending me your amazing HTV kit. Once again, here are the contents of the kit. You guys, there are 50 classic colors in here, 12 by 10 sheets. There are 20 unique patterns and then those four large rolls of HTV, the t-shirt guides and the tools. I think this is a super great kit. Go-To Crafts seems to put out some really great products. Don't limit yourself to just fabrics here. Um, again, I mentioned this earlier, tumblers, hats, different things like that. You can be as creative as as you want to be with their products. If you're a beginner, this is a great kit to grab. I will be dropping a discount code for you in the description below, so be sure to take advantage of that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy crafting with your go-to craft heat transfer vinyl kit or any of their other amazing kits that they offer on Amazon.